Hello, my name is Jeff Doris and I live in Tampa, Florida. And today's topic of my video is gonna be how to make money on eBay while also working a full-time job. Uh, if you do not know who I am, uh, my name is Jeff Doris. I'm also known as eBay Addicts. Uh, I have been a reseller on eBay for almost 10 years now. And also I have a YouTube channel. I think I've been shooting YouTube videos for maybe five years now. And so mainly we talk about reselling. So today I'm going to give you a quick uh, intro if you've never heard of me before. Um, I uh, was living a normal life just like everybody else. I uh, working a regular job. I worked for General Electric and my job at the time before I became a reseller was to drive a forklift, uh, you know, load up GE General Electric appliances in the back of semi trucks and I drove a forklift and I worked a regular union job and I did that. 12 hour days Monday through Friday so I worked about 60 hours a week and that was my life I worked second shift I would go into work at 4 p.m. and get off about 4 30 in the morning and that that was pretty much my life I was regular like it was my regular gig that I did you know Monday through Friday the whole nine to five grind and uh, that's what my, my life consists of and so you know after working and working and working one day I uh, was at work and I was driving my forklift and while I was at work, I would listen to a podcast and I would listen to music uh, on my radio. So what I would do is I had a phone uh, with me and I would have my phone like right here. And when I was driving my forklift, I would listen to music, I would listen to podcasts and I would listen to things uh, while I was driving my forklift, right? And so one day while I was driving my forklift, I was listening to this podcast and I actually was listening to these people right here. And so if you don't know who these people are, these people right here are is called, he has a YouTube channel called Gil Daddy. Right here is Gil Daddy and this is Gil Mama. And what these people did is they drove around to the Goodwill bins and they would uh, look for items that they could get for pennies on the dollar and they would load these items up at the weigh-in pay and they would get uh, vacuum cleaner parts and TV remotes and all these random items, parts that would go to a blender, all these different items, and they would buy them and load them up in the back of their van and they would say, hey dude, we've spent $100 here at the Goodwill bins and we're going to flip all this stuff and sell it for $1,000. And my mind was blown at that point because I was thinking about, man, I am in this dirty, uh, you know, hot warehouse we have no air conditioning i just have this little fox fan here that blew hot air on me and that's all i was doing and i was thinking about how many hours that i had to work driving a forklift working this nine to five job to make a thousand dollars a week uh it's what these people did just you know part time you know loading up items like this in the back of their little minivan uh that they did and so they like i said their youtube channel was called gill daddy and ever since i watched this youtube channel it pretty much my whole life has pretty much changed after watching this channel. And so the very next day, I watch this YouTube video and I send the link to my brother. He was serving in the Navy at the time. This was probably 2015, 2016. I send it to him and I'm saying, hey, bro, I think we can do this. I don't know 100% for sure, but I think this may be real. It may be legitimate. I don't think this is a scam. I think this is legitimate. And because back in those days, the only way that I had even thought about making money was just working overtime, working more overtime in the factory, you know, working in this 100 degree heat uh, and just driving a forklift. That's the only thing that really ever occurred to me that that's the only way that that, it, that you could make money. How else could you make money? It has to be by working more overtime. What else is there, right? And so um, I send him a link. He he says, oh yeah, man, I think we can do this. And the very next day, me and him, we both went out to the Goodwill and started buying random items. We were getting little remotes. We were getting little items. We got just, these just random items we picked up at the Goodwill. And I said, hey, listen, let's start off with $10, $20. Let's both go to Goodwill, see if we can find anything that we could resell. Okay, worst case scenario, if this, this whole thing doesn't work out, worst case scenario, we'll be out 20 bucks. Okay, that's it. So if it doesn't work out, if this whole thing is not legitimate, we're out 20 bucks. It's not the end of the world. So we both go in there. Both of us create an eBay account. We both start listing stuff. And the very next day, something sold. And we were like, dude, we both looked at each other and was like, bro, this might be a legitimate deal, man. We might be able to actually make some money, you know, reselling stuff on eBay. And so ever since then, <laughs> then I've been reselling on eBay, I don't know, for almost 10 years now. And uh, I've resold, I don't know, dude, made tens and tens of thousands of dollars reselling stuff on eBay. And it's a very simple concept. All you're going to do is get an item and buy it at a low price and resell it at a higher price. I could talk about eBay for an hour. 
So today I have four topics that I want to talk about, uh, you know, with reselling and with eBay uh, that may help you out. Okay. So what I do in a nutshell is I get items like this. I get items like this in bulk and I will buy these items here in bulk like this, for example, and I'll pick them up, let's say for 50 cents a piece and I'll grab 10 items. And then what I'll try to do is I'll take those 10 items and maybe I paid 50 cents for this item and then I'll turn around and resell it on eBay. Anything from $11 all the way up to 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks. All right. So my main goal is every time that I put money on eBay is I try to take my $5 investment and I try to turn my $5 investment into $100. That's what my main goal is to do. Or if you can see behind me, this is, I call this a workshop. And what I try to do is I go around and look for items that I can get at a lower price and resell them for a higher price. Yes, there's gonna be eBay fees and shipping and things like that involved. But what I'll do is I'll take my $5, I bought these 10 items, let's say hypothetically for five bucks. And then what I'll do is I'll go in, chop them all up, sell them off individually, and then turn around and resell them at a higher price on eBay. So this item, let's say, I don't know if this item right here, for example, okay? I pick this item up. This is a Seinfeld season one and two. I'll pick this item up. You can see it's new in the shrink wrap. Picked it up for 50 cents. Then I'll turn around and post it on eBay for 20 bucks plus shipping, and I will ship it off to the customer, okay? So when you're listing items on eBay, all right, there's, uh, I don't know, three different things you wanna talk about first. What you want to do is you want to take the photographs. Now, the reason why I selected these media items, I mostly sell CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, video games, VHS tapes, uh, all cassette tapes, video games, because what happens is all these items are in the eBay select category, okay? So if you have the basic eBay store, the one that's like $21 a month, you get items that go in the select category. And all these items that are in the select category, like DVDs and Blu-rays, they give you up to 10,000 free listings in these select categories, so you pay zero insertion fees on the eBay store, okay? Now, now, when you're going to go take photographs, what you're going to do is very easy. You're just going to take a picture front, back, and list it. Most of these items, 99% of them all have a little barcode right here. You're just going to scan this barcode. I'll show you real quick how easy it is to do. All right, I just pulled up my eBay app, okay? And then what you're going to do on your eBay app, there's a little spot. I don't know if you guys can see it, but right up here at the top of my phone, there's a little spot right here where the camera is. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click right here where it says barcode. You're gonna pull it up and it's gonna look like this, all right? Now, you're gonna pull this up here, like this. Scan your barcode. And then as soon as you scan your barcode, you can filter and then you can click under uh, the sold listings and it will show you all the ones that have sold recently uh, in the past, I don't know, 90 days or so. And you can scroll through and all the ones that are in green, you can see are ones that had sold uh, recently. And that's how you can figure out what are the sold comps of your item, okay? So, you, you, you've you got your pictures, you did your barcode, you looked it up, and then what you can do is, when you go on the website, it'll show you how many of that particular item is listed and how many of them is sold in the past 90 days. So that's how you can kind of get your sell-through rate to see, okay, how many of these items are actively listed on eBay, how many of them have sold, let's say, in the past 90 days, and you could get a general idea of your sell-through rate, okay? Now, the next thing that you need to do is you have to work on your title and description. The more characters that you put in the title, the more likelihood of one of these key words are going to be picked up and your item is going to sell. So try to put as many items as you can in the description and in the title of your listing. So you want to describe what the listing is, okay? So you're going to work on that, all right? And then um, the next thing that I want to talk about real quickly with eBay is I want to talk about networking. So wherever you go, whatever it is that you do, make sure you tell everybody that you know that you're a reseller and you want to try to network with other people. I found this guy, I think I found met him on OfferUp and I told him that I was looking for media items like this, right? And so this guy, he buys big storage units and he's got storage lockers and storage lockers of inventory that he, he comes across. So every month, like clockwork now, I meet the guy up once a month, we meet in a McDonald's parking lot and he brings me big, I mean, like he'll bring me big, huge totes like this, just huge totes like this of inventory. He'll bring them to me 
I'll get the stuff for pennies on the dollar of what it sells for. Then I go home, chop them all up, sell them off individually. I know the flea market flippers and these other guys sell, you know, big high ticket items. But I kind of stick to these lower tier items. I have uh, a lot less return rate when I'm selling you something that's new in the shrink wrap. It's brand new and it arrived in your house. And I don't have a hardly any any issues with returns or customer scams or anything like that. So if you network with other people, tell everybody what it is that you do, and then that way you can get repeat customers coming in with people bringing you inventory month after month after month instead of you driving around the city looking for one-off items, all right? Now, the next thing that I wanna talk about is uh, shipping costs. Most all the items, probably 99% of all the items that I have, I'm gonna get an item like this. I'll pay a quarter, 50 cents for it. You can see this little barcode here. It sells on eBay, let's say for 20 bucks. And after the item sells, I have a little item like this, a little envelope. This is a little six by nine titled envelope. And all I'm gonna do, put the item in like this. I'm just gonna grab it, boom, put it inside this little six by nine padded envelope. On the back, just gonna take this little, little piece off right here on the back, close it just like that, print off a shipping label, put a shipping label on it, drop it in the mailbox. It's a very easy thing. And the reason why, like I said, we're sticking to selling uh, media items is you're going to get uh, free listings. You get up to 10,000 free listings every month uh, for, for items that are in the select categories that are CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, video game, VHS tapes, video games. All these things will fall in the select categories. This is very easy to list and very easy to ship. I mean, I just showed you how quick it is. It takes me, I don't know, maybe 60 seconds to take a photograph front and back, list it, and then box it up and ship it. And all I'm doing is dropping it in a six by nine. If I have a customer that wants to buy multiple items, then usually I'll go to a bigger size envelope like this, box it up and ship it out the door. And this, this way, if you still have a full-time job and you're working 40 hours a week, let's say, you can still keep your full-time job, be listing stuff on eBay and doing it. Now, another thing I wanna add, when you're listing stuff on eBay, it's important that you have the right mindset. It's very easy when you have a full-time job to come home from work and say, man, I'm tired, I'm sore, I, I don't feel good. You come home, you take a shower, you cook something to eat for dinner, you sit here in front of the television for 30 minutes, 30 minutes turns into three hours, you know, uh, you put the kids to bed, you cook dinner, you take the dog out for a walk, and then you, know, you pass out and fall asleep. So it's kind of like important that you come up with a day or a time, whatever works for you. I'm kind of a night owl, so I'll work best at midnight because everybody's in bed asleep anyways. And you're going to go and start com coming up with a listing routine. And what I always tell people is when you're listing items on eBay, think about it as if... Um, Think about it like this. Think about it every time you list an item on eBay, think about it like you're depositing a check into your bank account, okay? I know it sounds crazy, but let's say this is a $20 item, okay? So every time I scan this item in and I list it on eBay, I think in my brain, I'm thinking, okay, I just deposited a $20 check into my eBay bank account, all right? Now, so we don't know when sooner or later this check is going to clear the bank. It may be tomorrow, it may be next week or whatever, but once this check clears the bank, that's when you're going to hear ka-ching and your item is sold and then you just box it up and ship it off to the customer. I mean, you know, eBay is great. I'm telling you guys, I've probably made, I don't know, over between, I don't say between 50 and 100 grand easy just selling stuff on eBay. And that's just while working a full-time job. I mean, I've probably sold tens and tens of thousands of dollars worth of stuff on eBay. And it's the same game. All I'm doing is buying items at a lower price, flipping them and reselling them at a higher price. And now when I run my business, I make sure that I get a 20X rate of return every time that I do a deal. So I'll get some items like this, box them up, uh, list them on eBay, and I make sure that every time my $5 bill turns into a $100 bill by getting a 20X rate of return. Now I might have to sell 10 items to do that, but once those 10 items are sold, let's say I sell each one of them for at least $10.99, that's $11 times 10. You can do the math, that's 110 bucks from my initial $5 investment. And you just repeat and do this over and over again. Pretty soon your eBay store will grow and grow and grow. And um, and, and you can grow your eBay store and scale your, your business, all right? So I talked about uh, listing, I showed you, uh, talked about photographs, we talked about networking, uh, and I talked about shipping today. So like I said, shipping is really important. Uh, to handle. Like I said, I put all my stuff right here in a 6 by 9 padded envelope. 99% 99, 99 of all the items I sell just fit in this little envelope. I'll put it in here, put a shipping label on it, drop it in the mailbox. 
You can just drop it in your mailbox on your way to work or, you know, do it on your lunch break. When I used to work at General Electric, uh, I would just take all the stuff with me that I sold the night before and put it in the back seat or put it in my trunk. And every day I would go on my lunch break every day and I would ship off all my eBay packages on my lunch break. And I would have a tape gun in my glove box. I would have my back seats. I would have, you know, padded envelopes and shipping supplies in my back seat and my envelope. And every day I would go on my lunch break and ship out packages. And people would make fun of me. They would say, oh, there's that eBay guy. Look at him go, Mr. eBay. And they made fun of me. So, <laughs> you know, and 10 years later, I'm still selling stuff on eBay. So they're making fun of me. They're going to give you a hard time about it too. But you need to start thinking about having multiple different streams of income. You know, the old days where you went and worked in some factory, you know, like my grandfather worked at the Ford factory. And I think he worked there for 40 years years and uh, got his pension and retired. You know, those days for most of the people having job security and benefits and a union job and you showed up somewhere for 30, 40 years and retired are gone now. So you're going to have to start thinking more like an entrepreneur. Think about someone who's a self-employed person and think about other ways outside of the box you could generate revenue besides punching the time clock. All right. So those are the main things that I want to talk about today. We talked about listing. I talked about uh, scanning your barcodes. I talked about taking photographs. I talked about the description. Uh, and I talked about, now one more thing that I want to talk about is once your items are listed on eBay, it's not like set it and forget it. There's a couple of things that you can do. You could run sales on eBay, right? You can run 10%, uh, 5% off sales. And what that's going to happen is, is when your item is listed, it may say, $19.99 or whatever, right? And then it'll have like a little red line slash going through it. And instead of saying $19.99, it may say, hey, for a limited time in red, it'll say $18 or something. So you can do that. You could send out offers to watchers. Also, another thing you need to do is promote listings, all right? Back in the day when I first started reselling, I could grab an item like this, post it on eBay, and maybe there was, I don't know, maybe four or five other people in the whole United States that had the same item listed as me. Now, you may post the same item listed on eBay. There could be 200 people on eBay that all are selling the same item as you. There, And it's all the same shape, same color, same everything, same condition. It's all new in the shrink wrap. So why are they going to buy it from you? What if your name shows up on the last page of the search engine? They may not even see your item. So I use uh, promoted listings as well. And so what that would do, it, it basically will have a little search bar on eBay and it will say like promoted listing and it'll get your items on the front page of the search engine. So people can actually see your items and buy it, all right? So use some of these different tips and tricks and strategies that I told you today's video. Uh, you'll definitely crush the competition, guys. And where else can you go and turn $5 into $100? And you know, I'm telling you, this, this business on eBay is way better than the stock market. I mean, you can't I mean, you can't go in there with the stock market with $5 and within a week turn your $5 into $100. They'll just laugh at you. That's just not going to happen. And you can work from home. You can set your own schedule. Like me, right now, I'm working 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm in the little workshop in the lab here. And so... You know, work, selling on eBay is hands down one of the best best gigs there is out there, 100%. So anyways, guys, that's what, all I wanted to talk about today. I um, talked a little bit about uh, my background, how I got started reselling on eBay. Uh, I've been doing this for probably 10 years now. Uh, I talked about my life early, you know, early on when I was driving a forklift. I talked to you guys about listing. We talked about networking. I talked about shipping. Uh, I do a lot of media mail shipping and anything under a pound, it ships flat rate media mail. And I talked about promoted listings today. I talked about running sales. I talked about if you have the basic store subscription, you get 10,000 free items that are in those select categories. So I talked about a lot of these different topics today. Um, also, if you guys want to come find me, you can check me out on Instagram. There's only one eBay addicts on Instagram. And if you need help, I'll be doing what I can to help you out. Or you can follow me on YouTube. I have, I don't know, five, 600 videos so far listed on my YouTube channel. Just check me out. Type in Jeff Doris on YouTube. You can find me there. Uh, usually I have new guests every week on and we talk about... Uh, business, entrepreneurship, reselling. I have usually have new guests on every week and we talk all about reselling business. Uh, we shoot live videos. People can ask questions. We answer the questions and do what we can to help you get started and get you going. And I mean, I'm just telling you guys, if this is something that uh, you're willing to do and you're willing to put the work in uh, it, it, while working a full-time job, I mean, eBay runs 24-7. It doesn't take smoke breaks. It doesn't take bathroom breaks. It doesn't take lunch breaks. I think about eBay as 
a virtual vending machine, all right? Think about it like this. I stocked up my vending machine with all these sodas, and then you just, you know, go about your day. And then as you're going throughout your day, people are coming through and buying sodas out of your vending machine. But instead of sodas, you're selling uh, media items. And this is a gig where you can start off, you put $5 in your vending machine, you come back, you restock your vending machine, and your $5 turned into $100. It's a great gig. Um, like I said, you guys can check me out on, on Instagram, on eBay Addicts. You can check me out on YouTube uh, under Jeff Doris. And uh, I'll be glad to help you out the best I can. Anyway, so if you guys uh, want to check me out, you have further questions, you need help, you can always reach out to me on Instagram or YouTube. And I will see you guys later. I hope you guys have a great day. And hopefully you learned something today. Not everybody, you don't have to follow my business model. You don't have to be selling media items. But you should get out there and sell something that makes some money. You know, there's opportunities all around you, but not everybody can see the opportunities and not everybody's willing to take advantage of them. So that's all I got to say for today. I will catch you guys in the next video. Till next time, you guys have a great day. This is eBay Addicts here. Peace out. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Till next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.